What's up, mechanics? Welcome back to another episode of Tool Tuesday. We have a lot to talk about today because we have new product, a lot of new product. How many new products is this? One, two, three, four, five. Mostly all of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven new items today. Uh, but first, we're going to do the Q&A. We're going to keep doing Q&As. So someone asked uh, if we can include a 22 millimeter socket with these. He said that adding a 22 millimeter socket because GM lug nuts are 22 millimeters and all the other sets I have found give you a 7 8 socket, which will mess up the chrome cover. Okay. <laughs> uh, we have to run through our inventory of this. Yeah, on the next run of them, we'll probably bring in the 22 millimeter. The reason we didn't is we wanted to test out the rapid load wheel socket, the actual rapid load system on the sockets before we went ahead and reintroduced a fuller or a more full line. Yeah, but you ask and you shall receive because uh, we already got it approved technically. Technically, but uh, yeah, let's run through this inventory first. So buy them. Okay. I'd like to see the welding. Blech. I'd like to see the welding helmet on the top of the shelf. We don't make that. It's just there for show. Maybe we'll have welding helmets. I think we can make a badass welding helmet. I mean, we could. We could, but that's uh, that takes away from all this. So first, we gotta master all this, and then we go to the welding helmets. Okay. Hey, we all be coming out with a wobble set of sockets for your impact line, impact UJs. I'm guessing. Uh. Yeah, just not right now. We have a small wobble on our, uh, an, an adapter, better said, a wobble adapter on our Impact 449 already. And uh, it's not something we couldn't do, it's just we, um, the Impact line is taking a little bit longer than we expected to actually start moving into. So we have Impact sets. We want to focus on pushing the Impact sets, then we'll move on to wobble Impact sets instead of bringing, of course, we can't bring in, you know, 40 sets at one shot of diff different types of sockets. Yeah, in the future. In the plans. Everything is in the plans. <clears throat> Will you ever be able to buy Vim from the UK? So we've been talking about the find a distributor portion on our website that we've been working on for a while. So yes, hopefully we'll have that up next week. And uh, so when you guys go in there, when it's up, you'll be able to find international distributors um, as well as distributors in the US. So if you're wondering, if you live outside of the U.S. where to buy our products, go on our website and you can find out. Um, we'll obviously send out our announcement once that's up and running. So don't go looking for it now. We'll send out our announcement and you'll know that it's up and running. Yes, we have distributors that ship all around the world, except for some places like North Korea and Yemen and Iran. For obvious reasons. <laughs> so I'm sorry if you live there. Okay. This one's kind of long. I'm a fabricator mechanic on fuel tanker trucks and trailers up here in Ohio. One major pain I have is the lack of good tool, tools to use when installing the PTOs on transmissions to drive the fuel pumps on the truck. It's a very small space. He doesn't have something that he can get in there with. He said he's broken a lot of his um, flex head ratchets. Uh, he says he's using quarter ratchet. So this is what I think could help. This is a dual swivel extension. Uh, these are patented, right? We're the only ones that yeah. really have these. Yeah, so, spring loaded. Yeah, you can really get in any direction you need to. And it's spring loaded on the top here. And it's locking. So maybe this would help you. We have them in quarter, three eighths, and half. So check those out. Kind of just ruined the whole facade of that, but whatever. Well, you <laughs> didn't show the set, you only showed the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, that's it for QAs. No, there's one more question I wanted to address. It was actually a concern. Um, they said, sell more tools so you could buy the hat. You bum. I, I like I that one. I like that one a lot. I, I like the idea. It. Sell more tools. I almost responded to it. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, <laughs> noted. Uh, that was funny. I'm going to get that. And as hat. always, Craig, love you, buddy. Craig and Steve. Steve, you know who you are. I see you sitting on your couch right now. That's so creepy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so creepy. Okay, uh, into new products. Am I going to start? Start with the S2BK. That's a good one. That's what they've been waiting for. I put the card in there for both. Okay. We're going to have two variations of this set come out. Um, we had these at SEMA, and it was very popular, so 
A lot of people have been asking about it. Uh, maybe you saw it at SEMA, maybe you guys saw it in a video from SEMA. This is our shake to break, okay? And the two sets that are gonna come out, one is gonna come without bits, but it'll have this slide card that tells you the optional bit sets that you can buy. And the other one is going to have bits. The only difference is a K at the end of the part number. The K is for the kit of bits. So, get a little close up. This, the reason it's called a shake break, is you can take this handle and these adapters here, put this bad boy right here on. Put that on an air hammer, and so now you can bah, 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 bah. That's and the noise then, they make. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, and then and then turn it loose. So it just gives you like a nice place to put your hand uh, and hold on to a handle while you break it loose with an air hammer, and then you can turn it. Uh, and it has a three eighths adapter and a quarter adapter half, for half. Oh, half I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Half and three eighths for your sockets, and it also has a five sixteenths bit adapter that you can use with all of the bits. I mean, it has XEN, hex, metric, and SAE, Torx Plus, uh, Phillips and slotted, and Torx. All the bits you're ever gonna need are right there. Yeah, and I know what some of you are gonna say. You're gonna say that the foam is too big. Uh, when we run through this, hold on. When we run through this one without the bits, we're going to put it in a smaller foam that is just these three pieces, or these four pieces here, the handle and the three adapters. But the set that includes all of the bits comes just like this. It's nicely organized and easy to grab. Right in your drawer. <clears throat> S2B100, S2BK100, and S2BK100K. Right? Yep. Bam. Brand new. Okay, and we have adapter sets that we'll have in stock next week. Next week or the week after. Um, they just came into port, so we just have to wait for them to ship into our warehouse. But they are here, and they're going to be going live on our website hopefully next week. I feel like you're looking at me. I'm, I, what else am I supposed to be doing? I'm looking at you. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there's a look coming from that side of the table. No, I'm just looking at you. All right. Hat man. We have a... You're the fucking... You're the hat man. <laughs> Cowboy hat, man. Okay, uh, here's a quarter set. These are our extensions. You have three, six, eight, and 10 inches. Uh, these are all two-step wobble extensions. Um, and I know we've explained them before, but uh, I'll just show you again. So, two clicks down, stuck in place. One click out, you have about 15 degrees of swivel. Two-step wobble. Two-step. Bam. That's the WEX 400, uh, which is the quarter extension set, four piece set. We also have a three piece set, which is the WEX. Now you have three eighths, four 600. piece set. Yeah. What did I say? You said a three piece set. Three eighths, a lot of numbers. Three eighths, four piece set. Three eighths, four piece set. Same size as six, uh, three, six, eight, and 10 inches. Also, two step wobble. Satin finish, beautiful. <laughs> and uh, yeah, shadow foam green, which looks really good. I love the way the, the green lo looks behind the sockets. Like I shadow foam is cool, too. but I'm not a big fan of red. Uh, not to hurt anyone's feelings. <laughs> but I think, that, uh, I think that the green looks the best. So yeah, that's the 3A set. Quarter and 3 eighths. Those are breakdown sets, though, because we have master sets. Yeah, we'll talk about those while we're talking about these extensions. Now, you have the MEKs instead of the WX. They're all the master sets are the MEKs for the extensions. The 400 is a quarter. The 600 is three eighths. Now, it still has your standard, you know, two-step wobble of your eight, your three-inch, or sorry, the quarter inch has your six-inch, your three-inch, your 10-inch, and your two-inch standard. But the extra stuff it has in it is this right here. You have an eight inch locking, right? With the sleeve locking collar right there. You're gonna have your, Michael ruined this for me already, but dual swivel extension. The difference between these and the ones we used to have is that these are now spring loaded at the top. That comes with it. It's a nice six inch dual swivel extension. And of course, a fan favorite, you're gonna get this guy. 
the spring loaded dual drive quarter inch UJ extent adapter. Right? Everybody loves those. Oop, I dropped it. Lowest profile UJ adapter. Super low profile on these guys. In the world. You're going to get the same thing. This is out of our FFA100 or our FFDD400K. So now it's in three separate sets of ours as well as individually. Now, the 3 8 set. You see this guy? Yeah, you can see it. So it's going to come standard with your 10 inch regular, 6 inch regular, 3 inch regular, 2 inch regular. But like I said, so also come with your 3H universal joint adapter, spring loaded, dual drive. That's brand new in itself. We haven't had a 3H dual new. drive. This form. is going to be part of the FFA 100 and this kit. So it's already in two kits, but it's brand new. All right, dual drive, 3H, spring loaded, UJ. What more can you ask for? Nothing. That's what. All right. We also have, again, the spring loaded, right? Dual swivel extension to get you into those really tough spots. And of course, locking as are all of our dual swivel extensions, DSEs, and you're also going to have another 3 8 8 inch locking. So pretty complete extension sets. I mean, there's nothing else you're going to need when it comes to extensions. And if you do, I, I don't know what to tell you because this has just about everything, at least I would ever use or most people that I know. But hey, mm -hmm. all right, that's that. Now, uh, you want to show them the big Mac Daddy? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> we talked about this co uh, a couple weeks ago. But they're saying, here. Saying that we were going to have them coming in. Now they're here. Heavy duty. This is our first heavy duty, duty item. Like really uh, item that's let's, meant. Let's take it easy. So. I'm the first heavy duty item. <laughs> 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 uh, here, here. Okay. So this is our second heavy duty item. And uh, this is a three quarter ratchet and breaker bar kit. So it comes with this attachment. Boom, just like that. You get both of these in the box. Um, this head is removable, and then you can put the breaker bar attachment onto it. So it's a two-in-one, and it extends all the way up to here. 29 to 40 inches. Yeah, that's where it's there you go. I'm 6'1". Let's take it easy. He, we've had this argument. He's, he claims he's six and three quarters of an inch. He takes it real personal. We measured. <laughs> We measured. You and I are the same exact height. And you don't hear me bragging about it. Let's just keep it rolling. All right, so anyway, is that ratchet? I'm going to go get <laughs> <laughs> I have a. I have a <laughs> medical document that I am 6'1". His ID said 5'11". No, it didn't. My ID <laughs> did not so say 5'11". Where's my wallet? Okay, wait, wait. Uh, All right, so the ratchet ooh. has a repair kit that's going to come with it, right? The ratchet head? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you just threw me through a loop right there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that was great. Okay. Yes. It. What did you say? The, <laughs> the ratchet comes with a repair kit. The ratchet head. The it doesn't ra come no, with no. one. They, it has a repair kit available. Yes. Exactly. It's a lifetime warranty on it. They have repair kits. Yes. Lifetime warranty. The ratchet, I think, in the breaker bar as well. They're both rated for over fifteen hundred foot pounds, and I've said that before, and I'll say it again because it's very strong. Um, so it's not going to break on you. You know, as easy as some of the other ones that are that out there. That's impressive. That's hard to do. That was impressive. What? They're heavy. Take it up like that, just all wrist. <laughs> yeah. You know, I got a lot of leverage since I'm 6'1". Yeah. Center of gravity is yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and yeah, I've, I've explained this part before, but this part of the neck right here is flat. Um, and there's a little, what do you call this little guy in here? A slide? Yeah, a little piece right there. So because this, the base is round, and the neck here is flat, um, it doesn't actually get jammed. If you put a lot of pressure on this twisting, oh, here. If you put a lot of pressure on this twisting, it doesn't get like jammed within the base of the ratchet itself. Um, and you know, if it does, all you do is loosen these up and it, it comes right back. But the ones with the collar, a lot of times if you put a lot of pressure onto it, um, the two, like this portion and the base. It'll become jammed up. It'll become jammed because it twists inside and it locks up. That won't happen with this one. And the head is not going to break on you because it is extremely strong, over 1,500 foot pounds. And it's interchangeable, like we said, obviously we didn't mention it, but interchangeable heads. That and that switch interchangeably. And we are also going to come out with a few other adapters to also go on this handle. So keep an eye out for that. We're going to have some really cool adapters. We should have some real cool ones here in the next few months. Yeah. Hi, buddy. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, you went through all that already, right? Yeah. All right. So 
what I want to talk about is this little guy. It's our R400. We've had it for a while, but we never really talk about it, but I do like it a lot because it's actually a super fine tooth quarter inch ratchet, right? Four inches is not anything crazy, but it's 112 teeth. So here, I'll put it up here so you can hear it. Super fine tooth. I like it a lot. They're actually very inexpensive. I don't know how much they are on our website. How many teeth did you say? 112. Wow. Right? Super fine tooth. People tend to like them. We do have some in stock still. It's just not an item that we market very often, but we've had them for a while. So if you are interested in a pretty cool little fine tooth ratchet that won't fail on you, check them out. Lifetime warranty. You oh, see? also this guy. I do want to talk about this. Wait. Before you get into that, guess I had something to say about this. Oh, this is actually pretty smooth. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, what I was going to say was everyone right now is obsessed with like the smoothness of a ratchet and uh what i have to say to that is a lot of times the smoother the ratchet means the less teeth it has because there's less friction that's going on inside the head so yeah it may be fun to play with but what do you call it back drag the back drag on the ratchet is what's it? so the, the larger the teeth are the less the teeth teeth that it has the more back drag it has on it or the, no better say the less back drag it has so it's, it takes less to actually ratchet it and there's more play with it um, but that's just because of the spacing between the teeth. The issue is when you're in a tight area, it becomes more difficult to ratchet something because you have a lot of play because the teeth are so big and there's less of them. Yeah. Okay. That's all. Now, this guy. I want to know what you guys think about this. We've been thinking about coming out with him for a while. This little, it's not an, it's actually a, it is a dual swivel adapter. It's just a lot smaller. We're thinking about coming out with a quarter three eighths version of these in a little kit. What do you guys think? Let me know. I know they're not necessarily the newest thing in the market, but we've had samples of these for years. I just, I didn't know if we should bring them in. You guys tell me we should bring them in. Who knows? Maybe we will. Right? It's the power of YouTube. <laughs> Let me know. I mean, what's the dual swivel extension then? It's that, it's that but it's a little longer. It's just a lot longer, yeah. And it, it, you can't, exactly. It's this and this right, are essentially changing. And this one isn't locking. It's a stubby. It's like a stubby. Stubby DSE. A stubby. All right. Um, <laughs> close out of the day. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before that, I had one last thing. This I know we're bringing out. All right, what's this? Regular keychain. Blah, blah, blah. But well, what's that? A 10 millimeter ratcheting keychain? Look at that. you telling me you're a mechanic and, and you don't want to have one of these little flex head guys on your freaking keychain in your pocket at all times? Even if you use it zero times in your life, your buddies, when you're having drinks, you'll be like, holy shit. <laughs> Look how cool that is. Are you tired of losing your 10 millimeter? Keep how about you lose keys. your car? <laughs> lose your keys. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to lose your keys, we know a guy. Boom. Check them out on our website. They're pretty neat. It's Are actually they uploaded out of our, yeah, it's out of our FPRW 100 set. The 10 millimeter most popular now on a keychain. Gonna be super cheap, so not super cheap, but you know, it's not gonna be expensive. So if you want a little cool gift to give your mechanics or to give your friends who are mechanics or whatever the hell you want, if you want it for yourself, go check them out. Keep an eye out. Valentine's Day is coming up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, close out of the day. This is the RLR6. This is a roto head ratchet. This is the our 3 8 version. Um, it has a There's other companies that recently come out with them that are brand new. This they're not. We've had them for five, six years. But uh, this is our version of it. If you like it, come on and get them. They're not going to last very long, and they're actually pretty cheap. Who had it first? Was it Finn? <laughs> Possibly. Waited. So yeah, we've had these for a very long time. I want to know like how long really has it been? Like, what like twenty years? Like what? twenty years ago that we've had that? No. Two thousand years. Two thousand two. You don't think these were out? These were out in two thousand two. From us? Yeah. I, I, no, I don't think they were. <laughs> okay, we're going to fact check that, and then we're going to put it right here. <laughs> okay, uh, so it has this little spin dial for you to lock it. You just turn it this way, and uh, you can lock it in any position, which is nice. A lot of the other Rotohead ratchets that are out right on the market, um, you only have a couple positions. You have like here, here, or here. It's 180 degrees of swivel. Yeah, so you can lock it in any position you want, but... This has 144 teeth. So it is extremely fine tooth. Give it a listen. Sounds like a bicycle. It does. 
Yeah. So 144 teeth, extremely fine tooth, roto head, ratchet, with 180 degrees of swivel that locks Sick. in any direction. Essentially gives you every angle you need on a flex head. Pretty cool. And I'm really pushing for us to bring these back out. They're all closed out for now. <laughs> we'll get them. <laughs> all right, uh, I think that's all we got for today. <clears throat> yeah, Was there don't any forget the Instagram mystery box, guys. So basically what the mystery box is gonna entail is once a month, we are going to be giving away a box that consists of minor like damage just to the packaging, brand new items. Uh, again, it's gonna be a mystery. You have to go on our Instagram post and the post that we pick for that drawing, you comment on it, you know, tag somebody and then like the photo. You have to be following us on Instagram. We're only accepting entries on Instagram. At the end of the month, the very first Tool Tuesday of the following month, we're gonna announce the winner and then I'll put it also on, um, on Instagram for those of you that only or tend to follow Instagram more. That being said, we're only doing U.S. shipping. But if you happen to ha be Canadian and you have a address that's that we can ship to in the U.S. and you want to handle the rest, that's up to you or anywhere else in the world, to be honest. So that's that. Alrighty. Well, that's it for episode 18, 18 of Tool Tuesday. Man, we're coming up on. Uh, okay, so follow us on Instagram. Follow us on TikTok. Follow us here on YouTube if you aren't already. And stay tuned. Tool Tuesday can go to war. Peace.